Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to Man City Unplugged, your very own Man City fan channel. And we are, we are in with another piece of uh, transfer news which came out yesterday. There were a lot of Fabrizio Raman actually told it yesterday. I know, I know that a lot of City fans now don't like uh, Fabrizio Raman as much due to people believing he has, you know, uh, made the Yasko Guardiola deal that much more difficult for City. You know, th there was an interesting thing in, in if, if you guys follow Reddit, in, in, in Reddit we generally give, uh, give, give tiers to journalists associated with uh, transfers like for example David Onstein is tier 1 and Fabrizio Romano was tier 2 for City. Uh, generally in, in, in the Reddit forums regarding City, you know they have down, downgraded him to KFC tier. <laughs> they are writing Fabrizio Romano, the badge is KFC tier. After what he has done to Yasko Guardiol transfer. That is the anger about Fabrizio Romano in the Yasko Guardiol transfer uh, for City fans. But I think that will complete Yasko Guardiol transfer because I think Dean Jones, uh, who, who, who's, a, who's a journalist with close uh, links to City, he has sources in Charge City, he was telling that City expected this summer to be quiet, but City's main aim this summer was Yosko Guardiola. Of course, Kovacic, they expected it to be done easily because Chelsea also wanted to sell players. But Yosko Guardiola was what City were literally aiming to sign this summer and they're happy if they only sign Yosko Guardiola now and still in the... Uh, season without doing anything in transfer market but that is if 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 no other players leave of course if walker and cancelo leave then he says that city are looking to bring in benjamin Pavard, which we have discussed a lot on this channel but anyway coming to michael olise michael olise is very interesting because yesterday we have seen cole palmer you know audition for that mahrez role he's played very well in the first half uh, he's, he's, he's actually shown the confidence of, you know, getting out of tight situations, shown that confidence of driving at opponents, didn't lose position at all, was very good with his approach of when to put the ball in, how to, when to take a shot. He took a few couple of good shots, one shot tested the keeper in the first half. Palmer was the best player in the first half for me yesterday uh, against Yokama Merinos, was really composed in his performance. And then in the second half, we have seen Oscar Bob audition for that Riyad Mahrez role. And Oscar Bob was the player of the match yesterday. He was just electric in the match. He was just so good. His movements inside, outside. His link up with Bernardo Silva. If you see his link up with Bernardo Silva, it's almost like both of them are playing since uh, eternity, you know. It, it, it was just uh, so good the uh, way they linked up and Oscar Bob looked technically so he just looked technically on the same place plane as your other first three players he was technically so adept technically so good knew exactly when to pass when to dribble when to shoot which actually is rare among young players so I think Oscar Bob is ready for first team action and yesterday Oscar Bob played from a midfield role sometimes with one swapping with Bernardo Silva to a right wing role and sometimes a second striker to Haaland so he almost played two three positions yesterday so his tactical knowledge his versatility everything was just superb uh, from Michael Olise sorry from Oscar Bob yesterday and then Michael Olise is, um, is is an interesting thing Fabrizio Romano mentioned. He has a release clause of 34 million pounds. And he's for right wing, obviously. And he can also play right midfield uh, and, and also right wing. Even he can play in two, three positions. He's 21 years of age, has a release clause of 34 million pounds. Uh, news is that Chelsea are bidding 38 million pounds because City are also interested in him. There might be a bidding war, but... If, if we know things about City, we know that City are never involved in bidding wars. But but I don't know if Palmer and Oscar Bob don't work out in the preseason. Or Pep is not satisfied that they can regularly start in the first team level. Uh, I, I think City will go all in for Michael Olise because we have the money in terms of the earnings which we have generated from sales and also from uh, the prize money last season by winning the treble. So money is not an issue. So, but my only concern is Olise is 21. So, literally, you bring in Olise, you cut off that first team path to at least one of uh, Cole Palmer or Oscar Bob. I actually think if we do bring in Olise, then Cole, that marks the end of the road for Cole Palmer, at least for now, at least for this season. I think he's, he's going on loan to Brighton for this season. Might not be a bad thing for Palmer, I don't know, but... 
I think at 21, Olize will give you at least 9 10 years uh, at, the, at the top level, and he's exactly almost like he's, he's the closest to what we have got in the Premier League in terms of Riyad Mahrez. If, if I discount Cole Palmer, because Cole Palmer also I think is a bit like Mahrez, but closer to Riyad Mahrez, I think it's Olise retains possession well, is composed in possession. Uh, one, his, his crossing is excellent. His vision is just out of this world. His vision is very good. He has a great shot on himself. Excellent free kick taker. He he doesn't lose possession often. He's, he's a perfect winger. Again, if Pep Guardiola has a chance to produce a winger in the laboratory, I think it will be Michael Olise. So, Michael Olise is just uh, so good actually. So, I actually think City will be closely monitoring him. But we don't need to fear about Chelsea because, you know, Chelsea are locked up in Casido talks now. So, just like we are locked up in Guardiola talks. I, but I think if a bidding war does happen and depending on what Pep Guardiola uh, forms an opinion about Palmer and Oscar Bob in the preseason, I expect us, if Pep Guardiola wants a replacement to Mahrez from the transfer market, I expect us to go for Olise because Olise is cheaper than, you know, Danny Olmo, than, uh, uh, than a Rafinha for sure. He's, he'll come in half the price than what clubs are demanding for Rafinha and Danny Olmo. So, and he's 21, one of the breakout players in the Premier League for the last one, two years from Crystal Palace, knows the Premier League inside out. His vision, everything is excellent. Attitude is excellent. His work rate is just superb. Olise just runs superbly. So, excellent work rate. So, and I think this is a transfer if City go for it. Don't think there's much wrong with the... With, there's only little that could go wrong with the transfer. But my worry is I think this could bring the end of the road for this season for one of Palmer and Oscar Bob. And I think it's for Palmer because... He has loan offers uh, to, to go elsewhere and Oscar Bob can play anywhere in the midfield to the wing. So, let's keep an eye on Olise, 34 million pounds, but I, Chelsea are bidding 38 according to reports and expert a bidding war between Chelsea and uh, City actually. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this Olise transfer. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have liked this video, please click on the like button and do share the video so that it reaches more and more people and more people subscribe to the channel. So, see you all guys and take care.